Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna have some fun today with Oreo cookies and milk. We're going to do drink splashes using Oreos and milk and we're gonna make a mess. It's gonna be a fun one. Let's get into this one. Here's our little setup. I've got the blue background. I've got a studio strobe just underneath me and I have my main light, which is a huge Octobox to my left. I'll be using a Nikon D800 with a Tamron 90 millimeter lens. I love that lens. I'll put a link in the description down below about that lens because it is fantastic and it's gonna be great for doing this with. We're gonna be dropping Oreos in this and making a mess. I need to do a covering on here so I don't get milk everywhere and potentially the strobe underneath going boom. Not a good thing. But before I do that, I get my establishing shot. So what I do is I set this up how I want it to look. And then we're gonna add the splash later in Photoshop. So we're gonna get a picture of this and that'll give us our foundation from there. Then I simply need to do the splashes and we're only playing with the top section of the glass. I'm not having to adjust this and we're not getting milk everywhere. As you will see, it gets messy very fast. Let me get my little uh, tabletop piece and let's make some mess. All right, first things first, let's get this out of the way and bring in my little lid. This is a lid off a storage container, but it's got a nice lip on it. It will make a nice splash guard for us. Sink that down, put our glass on it. Now we don't need the cookies and that on here because we're only interested in the top and the splashes. So this is the basic setup. And we're on, and we're going to do some milk splashes. Now, the first one you can do with the Oreo coming down. I don't need it going in the milk because it'll leak particles. So I just need to go. And I need to catch the Oreo coming down so I've got a bit of a blur to it. Now for the actual splashing itself, it's simply a matter of trying to get the timing right. And the higher it is, the bigger the splash. I don't want a huge splash, but it's a matter of getting this timed right. That was a good one. I think that will work out just perfect. But you can see this is a messy business. But this little uh, piece of plastic with a lip on works great for helping contain it. You still get splashing on the background and that, but can't really be helped, but try and protect your gear as best as possible, especially with the electronics. But that's how I do a drink splash. Now I do multiple splashes and I check in the camera to make sure I got lots of them. Then I load it all into Photoshop. Let's have a quick look in Photoshop now of how I put all this together. So while we're getting into Photoshop, I'm gonna enjoy an Oreo. We're now in Photoshop and this is our base image here. Now, what we're gonna do is on the right-hand side, I've already got all the layers pre-done and I've already done most of the Photoshopping because I didn't think you wanted to sit there and watch all that meticulous detailing. So we're just gonna go through this kind of layer by layer. First thing we need to do is add a bit of a splash in. Look at that. I loved how the milk came up on over the side, but I got a bit of a problem with lighting, probably because of my arm drop in the cookie. It's darkened in here. So you can see how that's just a little darker. So I just painted this white change the layer to uh, soft light, and then lighten that out. So you can see how that just lightens that back out and makes it perfect. Now we need a little more splashing going on. I just love that splash, worked out really well. Nice big barrel in the back there. So, And if you're wondering about the opening, it's not a big deal because when I dropped an Oreo cookie, I caught it mid air before it touched the milk. So I got one with a nice blur and it fills in that hole perfectly and you can see the splash coming all up in behind. Now we need to add a little more splash and you can see I just used that one piece off of another shot just to tie in because it matched in really well with the image. Then on here I needed a little something in the front and this wave kind of over the front was perfect. Now you can see though that the lighting is off on this. So what I did is I painted this black and then changed that layer to uh, soft light and toned it down. So you can see how that tones that down to make it look a little better. So that's it. 
that's basically how you do the drink splash is you just do the multiple attempts get all these different splashes and then simply add it all together in Photoshop to create your finished image so that's what we started with and then we slowly build it up and this gets you your drink now we're ready to do some final color grading and finishing so that's it for Photoshop well now you can see how I do it in Photoshop quite simple just a bit finicky playing, figuring out the splashes, getting it to look natural, and getting it to look good. But now let's have a look at the color graded image. Yeah, I was really pleased how that came out. That really pops off, and I love the way the splash is coming on, especially that big barrel wave in the back there. But yeah, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. I'll definitely get back to you. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit that bell notification so you're aware when I post new videos. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. So, until the next time.